She wears long sleeves, baggy clothes, keeps her eyes fixed on the ground, hides her face, no one knows that her world is falling down, was Queen Bee, but then her crown fell, she had no enemies but herself. Come to lunch, and you'll find her sitting in a bathroom stool, she's dancing on the edge, she's scared she is gonna fall, she's clinging on now, but tiring every day, wondering what it would be like to take her hands away, so she counts 
five seconds, breathe it through, then you'll start to count again. Four seconds, count the reasons why today is not the end. Three seconds, breath, two seconds, doubt, the last second filled with pain. Don't you dare give up now. Five seconds, breathe it through, then you'll start to count again. Four seconds, count the reasons why today is not the end. Three seconds, breath, two seconds, doubt, the last second she let go and started falling down. Perfect hair, perfect body, perfect face and perfect smile Perfect diet, always at the gym to run the extra mile But when he got home, he'd leave the water on And only turn it off when all his body fears were gone He was loved and admired by all that he knew Always helping and giving, never nasty or rude When he looks into the mirror, that's not what he sees doesn't define me as a person. Morning, Kokichi. How are you? Ooh, gay, 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 super high school level gay, ooh. When I was in preschool, there was this really weird system of timeout where they put you in this giant plastic bucket, sort of, like this one. And the rule was, you couldn't leave the bucket for ten minutes. Weird. In case you didn't know, I was what the teachers referred to as a difficult child, which is code for walking entity of sass. So I was in this timeout bucket quite a bit. Once they put me in the bucket for 30 minutes, and I thought that was incredibly unfair. So I grabbed the handles and shifted my body repeatedly until the bucket and I were out of the classroom, in the hallway, and through the front door. They found me in the parking lot scooting to freedom in the timeout bucket. My teachers were furious, and I said, hey, I never left the bucket. So they called my mom and told her what I did, and she just said, 
Well, he never left the bucket 